to show you how to make this wine glass holder here with a strap that goes around your neck. And I used a J hook. And it's done in multiples of two. You could add two to this um, pattern. If you need it to be larger, because your wine glass is larger, you can use a larger hook. Or you can go smaller, use a smaller hook. This uh, around up for my wine glass is 10 inches around. So if yours is smaller or bigger, then you're going to need to adjust the pattern. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, to get started for the wine holder, you're going to chain 20. So you can cast onto your hook. And chain 20. Now, if you want to make your wine glass holder bigger, because your wine glass is bigger, you can go up a hook size. This is the J. Or if you want to make it smaller, go down a hook size or so. So you're going to yarn over, pull through the loop, and this is going to be for 20. So go ahead and work that until you've reached 20. Okay, so now you have 20. Slip stitch into that beginning chain. So yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again. Now you're going to start the next round, chain four. And then you're going to skip two chains. And then single crochet into that next. And then you're going to repeat that around a chain four again. Skip two, single crochet. Chain four. Skip two, single crochet. Okay, do that all the way until you get to the end here. So skip two, single crochet, chain four. Okay, so now you're at the end. You'll do the last skip two, go right into that beginning stitch and work a slip stitch. Okay, so now you're going to chain three. And then in this chain space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Chain three. And then into this chain space, you're going to work a single crochet, a chain three, A single crochet, a chain three, and then in this space you're going to work a single crochet, and then a chain three, and repeat that around. Single crochet, chain three, and so repeat that around. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, go into this next space until you get to the end here. Okay, so you're at the end here. You did your single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So then you're going to chain three at the end. And then this is going to be a continual rounds without slip stitching. So you can use a marker, which I like to use my tail to keep track of my rounds. So you have this space here, which is the single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So when you do your chain three, you're going to go right into this and repeat the round again, which is going to be a single crochet, a chain three, 
and then a single crochet in that same space. And then you have your chain three here, but you're going into the single crochet, chain three, single crochet space with a single after you do your chain three. So you'll do a chain three, and you're going to go to this space because you have a chain three, but you want to go into the single, chain three, single. And you're going to repeat by doing a single, a chain three, and a single. And then chain three again. And then go into the single, chain three, single, repeat that. Single, chain three, single, chain three again. And then repeat. So you're going to not do anything with the chain three, but go in here, go single, chain three, single and then chain three and repeat that all the way around until the beginning here. So now you're on to the next round here. It's just continual rounds because you're back at your marker and you're gonna do a chain three and then go back into your space here, which is the single, three, single, and just repeat again. Now, when you do your continual rounds, I did mine up to about seven times. So from here, it'd be one, two, and then you just go around seven seven uh, times total for these continual rounds. It's up to you on how many rounds you think you need for your wine glass. So you're gonna chain three and repeat. And then once you're done, it's going to look like this. So I think I had one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe yeah, six rounds. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably seven rounds here. Okay, so you get it to look like this, and then you're gonna wanna make, if you want to make a strap, once you stop, you're just slip stitching into your last round. Slip stitch into your last round, and then create a chain. I did a chain of 80. So once you get to 80, you're gonna go to the opposite side, Make sure you don't twist. And you're gonna go right into the opposite side and you're going to slip stitch. So you can take your chain and you're gonna go right into the opposite and you can go right into here and you can slip stitch. And then you can cast off cut your yarn and then just weave in your ends with a yarn needle and this is how you complete it here. If you want your chain strap to be thicker then you can go right back up into it with a single. So you could take this and go right into it and do single crochets in each chain and this can make it thicker or you can just leave the thin strap. So you can go all the way up, all the way up here, and then you can cast off, and then you'll just sew this onto the other side. You'll have to use a yarn needle. And this is how you do finish it. Okay, so thank you for watching, and please subscribe.